Okay, here's the little jig I built. It's just a trough that I lined with foil, and the foil keeps it warmed up so you, you don't use near as much heat and time to do it. It's about half the time to do it. heated one up here this is a little flattener I got straight I gotta heat this because it's not long enough we'll do that real quick Okay, it's about soft now. See how that's really hot. <laughs> so now I just put this on. And clamp it down as quick as you can go. That's just a two inch, I cut a two by four, two inches, and then just put some one bys, three inches on the side. And that one inch PVC flattens out to about two inches. We'll just leave it in there for about 10 minutes. And that really helps me to keep this stuff straight because it's you try to throw a two by four on two two by fours and it's just you know looks like sidewinder so that's about it and then we'll show you how to put it on the canoe when right Get this out of here. Okay, I got my uh, barely straight. My rib has been a little bit there. But can't ask for protection. But I put them about every three inches apart. It's a little less. I measured it and got it even. I just wanted it spaced evenly. So the way I do, I start heating this rib. And this is what I'm doing. Even looks like a wood grain kind of. Get everything ready here.
Well, I always, when I was a kid, I saw, I guess it was a canvas canoe, and it had all the ribs. And ever since then, I've been obsessed with the ribbed, the ribbed canoe. So, this is going to look a lot better than that junk. I think I had it upside down. I think the squirrels have even been chewing on it. Get up in there. So it's starting to get a little pliable. Well, these gloves. See how that fits right in there? chance for that to make it look a little nice, so maybe I'll try that on my next rig. Wow, I'll get it heated, dude. get too hot or we'll start wanting to go back round on you. screws up with these when it's hot them screws sink right down in there Do the same. Now these screws are going to stick out, and you just got to take your grinder and grind them off. And I've done that. That's how I did the front when I pulled it together. 
I, I took a piece of plastic barrel, I cut it right in the center, now I glued, I pulled it together and screwed it, and I went out for the bow, bow in the stern, make it rounded, it'd be a good idea to draw a line on there, and then you just cut it off, and you got a nice pointed bow there, and uh, it, uh, it's pretty hard to bend. And then it's kind of flat when you do that, so you got to cut some wedges and drive them in there and screw those in. And it makes a really stuff, makes a really tough bow. You know, it, you can bang into a lot with that thing. Do the same on the other side. And it's pretty simple. You don't want to screw your cord down. I had to screw through it, take that screw back out, and screw it back in, and it gets it tighter up against there. Okay. And once we get it for sure where we want it, you just cut that rib off, and, and you got it. On my seams, on my seams, I'll probably screw from the outside because I've already got all them holes going into that wood. So what I'll do is I'll take and screw all them in and then cut them off on the inside. And then we've got to worry about how we're going to seal it up, seal the seams. Uh, 
if I had a good plastic welder and knew how. If anybody's got any ideas, feel free. Okay, what I like to do is take my grinder, which is broke. So we'll have to do that later. Yeah. We'll try the saws off. off an angle so it will uh, go up under there. there that's, that looks a lot better. Okay, get my spacer. Get that screw in there while it's still warm. I probably don't have to have these ribs this close. They're not real close anyway. I would like to have them about as wide as the ribs are apart. You know, two inches. The rib's about two inches wide. When I built my thing, I built it just over two inches wide with my flattener jig. So. That worked out perfect on that. I can, this one I got a little crooked, but I went ahead and used it anyway. And, uh, worked out pretty good. Line it with that foil, that neck on the backyard boyer. He makes those. Uh, PVC bows. That's what gave me the idea to make these ribs. So he makes a, he makes a 45 angle. Puts PVC in. Yeah. Okay. My ribs start to go round, so I'm just taking my knee. back out if it is a little round if it's not completely flat that'll just give it more strength anyway but I like to make it look uniform I 
I try to make things look neat, I'm just not good at it. Also take a wet rag for water, cold water, and smooth these out. Now, now if it gets out of shape, heat it up, you can push it right back in the shape. There's cold water in it. Okay, I think that's good enough. And man, them, those screws in there, even though they're cut off, they're going to hold. They're strong. You ain't going to rip them apart. One of them little ribs is what's holding that boat together besides the PVC handrail. Let me take you down and I'll show you what I got. Besides a mess in the boat. Well, that's about it for today, YouTube. Uh, I'll continue working on this. And I'll show you a little more as we go along. And when we get get all finished, we'll take her out. All right, YouTube. Don't forget to like, sub subscribe, and share.